When I was born, it was 1967, and uh, my parents were 20 and 21 years old. They came from a very small town in southern Alberta called Arrowwood. About four months into me being around, there was something wrong with my skull. What basically was happening was I was starting to develop a bit of a cone-shaped head. And so they took me into a specialist, and that's when they got the news. And the news was that I had something called cranial stenostosis, which is basically the plates in your head grow together too quickly and they don't allow for the brain to have enough room to, to grow. And back then, it was, it was a, almost a death sentence. Uh, and in fact, my parents were told that I wasn't going to survive till Christmas. And so I had surgery at four months, and then I had surgery again at two years. And then I was supposed to have surgery again at seven years. So when I think about kids who have issues or concerns or conditions, I know that it's not just the parents that are worried, it's about the entire family that gets worried because that's what happened to me. For me, growing up, I always knew that there was something that I needed to do to give back. And so I went to university, I went to business school. When I graduated, everybody else became accountants and real estate agents and bankers. But I, I wanted to do something more. I wanted to work in the nonprofit sector. And I always felt like I was able to survive the childhood experience that I was in order to make a difference in the world. If I was to use examples of where I think the system works best, one of the areas that I would point to would be the uh, NKF, the Neuro Kids Fund. And, and the, the reason why I would say that is because they represent the best example of how the hospital and the foundation work together to create value for the experience of not just children, but families. And when I am at the Stollery and when I meet a family or a child, I don't look at the child being sick. I look at the potential that's in the child. You never know what that potential is. You never know whether that child is gonna be an astronaut or an accountant or an artist, or whether they're going to raise a family or whether they're gonna be fantastic uncles and aunts, or whether they make a difference in the lives of their families even if they don't live their full life. That even if a child lives for one day or one week, they influence that family moving forward. And so my passion is about meeting those families, trying to do everything I can, unabashedly raising money for them so that we can create a better experience here at the hospital and ultimately reach every potential that a child has inside of them.